This next clip that I'm going to show, this is from Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis was the number one draft pick. He won a national championship while at Kentucky. He's going to talk about Cal's pitch. Cal is watching it, and then he's going to comment on it. When he go on his recruiting trips and visit people's homes, he tell you, first thing he says, Kentucky's not for everyone. His first line, he don't say, how you doing? That's your name. He just say, Kentucky's not for everyone. And some guys get rattled by it. Like, wow, he means business. And, um, and that's why he produced a lot of great ball players coming out of Kentucky. He's right. I walk into home, it's not for everybody. If you don't want to share the ball, if you want to be the center of attention, if you don't want to get coached or challenged, please don't come here. And so if you guys pay close attention to what he's doing, he's setting the terms of the agreement. You do that in a, a similar way. Yeah, I, I do it. Well, I, I think we do it in a, in a similar way. It's you set the parameters, but you're basically setting the parameters based on what what you're looking for, and hopefully, if there's a match, what they're looking for as well. So again, it's it's more of a presentation process. This is who we are. Uh, we, we don't have someone that uh, it, in, involved in our five that is going to be looking for all the shots. We're going to spread the ball. This is a community effort and he presents that. And if a young man wants that, then they're going to attach themselves to him, I would say very early in the communication process, probably in that room, probably in that living room right away, or lift, they'll be up on the seat and they'll be excited about what he's saying. You can feel that, and that's where that recruiting connection takes place. Sure. What it made me think of was, I remember uh, when I applied for the job at the University of Oklahoma, and and uh, was a high school coach and, and I talked to Gino about that process and what Gino said to me was you have to remember you're trying to de decide whether or not you want the job as much as you're trying to get the job and so I, I think about that when I'm interviewing kids in, in my office when they come for a visit um, I'm, I'm trying to decide if I really want them also and so what coach said are they sitting on the edge of their seat? Do their eyes light up? Do you feel that they're alive when you're talking about things that really matter to your culture? Then you know, it's sort of that litmus test that you know this one is the one, we gotta get this done. It, it's the most difficult part because we, we all want the very best players that we can get, but what we really need are the very best people that can play in our system and fit into our culture. And uh, what I've learned is over a period of time, it is the most difficult because sometimes you may have a player that is really good, but he doesn't fit. And um, you have to do what's best for the overall organization and not just for that one player at that particular time because it needs to be a two-way street. And what happens is that the one thing that we all have a, a difficult time identifying is really what they have inside because we don't get enough evaluation time in football. We, we, don't, we don't get to see them a lot. So um, when we can find those young men that really have something in here that fit, then we're going to get a winner. And, and ironically, you know, I looked at the draft this year in, in football, and um, the majority of the players that were drafted were three stars, and, and then four stars, and then five stars. And I think that's because the three stars are really hungry. And as long as you're hungry, you got a real chance. I, I know when I sit in my office and take kids through what Tim calls the presentation process. I, I talk to them a lot about some of the things that we talked about here today. You know, like those of you who are here this morning, when Patty was talking about being vulnerable, we talk about how we do that with our team. And there's some kids who are immediately, you know, really into that. And then there are some kids who you're kind of like, wow, you can tell they don't want to do it. And I've gotten feedback from club coaches in the past. And they've said, well, you know, I said, what was it that made her make that choice? And you know, their coach will say, look, you know, it's not that she doesn't like you or anything like that. She just wants to play soccer two hours a day and all that, you know, self-awareness stuff. Like, that's not really what she wants to do. And I'm okay with that because I feel like if that's the case, I'm not saying what we're doing is right. I'm just saying this is the way we're going to do it. And we would love for you to be part of that if that's something you buy into. And before we move on to the next piece, you were just, you made a nice, Tim speaks in metaphors, uh, the genes. The genes. Yes. Well, yeah, it, when we were talking about um, a young man choosing your school, I, I, I said if, if they decide that the, the place is for, for them, it, it feels like a, a nice pair of jeans, it, it, that you put them on, very comfortable, they feel right. 
and you can go back to your closet and you've got four pairs of jeans, but you always go back to the one that feels the best. And then there's others where you try them on and they're a little bit too tight. And that might be our situation for certain kids. So I, I, I definitely think it's, it's definitely a comfort level. You can feel it. And it's, it's based more on, I don't, it's, not, it's not necessarily the head coach, but it's, it's the environment. It, it, the, the young man or woman feels comfortable in the environment and hopefully through the relationship process and the presentation they can find that out. Unfortunately not all kids go through that that time allotment, especially when they're young. The parents force them because other kids like them are choosing fast so they say okay let, let's choose the place fast. They make a, a, a bold and quick decision and it doesn't fit like a pair of jeans. Yeah. And I'd just like to show this last clip and this will speak to the nature of Evidence creates belief, and this is how he shows evidence that his way works. We don't play any games that aren't meaningful. Every game is meaningful. It's hard for a high school kid, especially when he's 18 years old. That's why the ones we get are the ones that should come here, and the ones that go other places should. I mean, you're not going to come here and score 30 points a game. You're talking about Anthony Davis. He took the fourth most shots on our team. The fourth and was the number one pick. The kid that took the fifth most shots was Michael K. Gilchrist. He took the fifth most shots and was the number two pick. Carl Towns, the fifth most shots. Devin Booker did not start. Numbers don't matter with us. And if you're into numbers, the ego of that, you go somewhere else. So he's building a narrative that supports what he's looking for. He's got such a unique situation compared to every other coach, every other coach that's up here and, and every other coach and administrator that's sitting down. So he's, that, that, that's just completely different. But I think what the, the biggest piece of that is he knows what he's looking for, he knows what he has, he knows what he wants, and that's, that's what he gets. Uh, but he just wants to make sure that what he gets is going to fit into to that environment and flourish, and he does. I'm going to guess that he recruited Marcus Camby differently <laughs> than he recruits these guys. That would just be an outside shot. Um, but what Coach said is right. He's taking what he needs now, and that's the way he does it, and he's a master at it. He's, he's good at it. It's working for him. Sherry? Yeah, I just think there's no mixed messages. He, everything is congruent. He's, he's created the story. He, he communicates in a way that supports the story. His actions support the story. Everything ties up and, and you know, we, we all have an opportunity to create our own narrative around our own situations. And I agree with Coach, that's a different deal. Uh, but I think the takeaway is, is can we be so aligned within our own environment? Well stated. Let's give it up for him.